Oh yeah, those are kind of burned off there. That ain't good. Not a lot of room here to show you much. It's kind of a shady operation here. This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. All right, guys, so we're gonna be working on this today. It's air conditioner, right? Nothing special. So one side is acting stupid and finally found out that, I just found out that they have parts order for one side, the other side is making noises. So I'm assuming that's the side that's not good. We're gonna unhook that side and just get it going uh, so they can run it. I guess it's being noisy or something. So let's see what we run into. I haven't worked on one of these. Supposedly it's a northern system, whatever that is. But principles are all gonna be the same. That's an Allen wrench. There we go. Oh yeah, lots. Got a head pressure control valve there. High pressure safety right there. Not sure where else everything else is. 480 volts, eight tons of cooling. This has got a uh, MRI in it. It's a big donut thing. Okay. Got GPS things there. All right. Well, what I noticed was down here on the bottom, there's a breaker that was tripped which ain't good. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this thing opened up. Find out which one's shorted. I'm assuming that's what's going on. So it's got one of these wonderful Corel, con I call them Corel. Corel, that's what I like to call it. Okay, so we've already got something that's taped off here. Yeah, so they've already unhooked something. Presser contactor one. So CC, CC, CC2, uh, humidifier maybe, heating contactor, and everyday boy likes chocolate cake. I don't know, whatever. So we've got our power here. Let's check, see if we have any shorts to ground. Just go off the generic power leads um here's the remote brain for some of it it looks like got phase protection here and uh should be there on that let's grab the meter see what we got let's go ahead and just go straight to the ground got something there three thousand you wouldn't think you'd have anything to any of that but you know could could have that <laughs> First contact for two has 3,000 ohms to ground. That's 7,000, now back to 3,000, and that one there. It'd be nice to know what they found, somebody found on this. I don't even know who worked on it. I don't think we did. This is a portable unit, so somebody else has been working on it, so it could be, just really depends on, now why would you unhook that? I'm not overly impressed with this device at all, so. All right, let's see if we can get over to the other side and see if the compressors are accessible from there. Refrigeration access, there we go. Like I said, it's just a Allen wrench, but I didn't bring those over with me. There's the compressors. Just some scroll, scroll dubbies there. That's our power. You'd think they would have put that sight glass on this side and put a little peephole through there. There's your uh, head pressure control system off, probably refrigerant bypass. None of that sh crap should be important, so. Let's see these fans spin. Boy, them are some heavy duty dogs there. Holy crap. Okay, got one TXV. So it holds 25 pounds of refrigerant. Can't really get to these compressors to, to actually probe the compressor themselves. We might be able to go through the, that area there. It'd be great to know what exactly caused that breaker to trip. System sequence operation here was pretty nice. 
It's got, you know, obviously control network, T-LAN, uh, got two liquid nitrogen solenoid valves, fan cycle controls, got humidification, got dehumidification, and the heating controls. All right, so we had to use the old phone here to read this, because man, oh man, even with reader glasses, I can't even see that, that's so small. Um, condenser fan, compressor uh, here, got the crankcase heater here, the brake in one side of it here on the contactor. So two items are on one, two items on the other. So you have two, uh, two compressors, you try on obviously their own. So they uh, did not break that crankcase heater, but that wouldn't make any noise. So it makes me wonder which one's actually making noises. Uh, we may have to shove the contactor in and see. I don't, I don't know yet. This kind of sucks because uh, there's no history. So we weren't the one that worked on it. Somebody else must have. Um, yeah, but for the most part, I mean, we're going to go ahead and check through here. So we got the compressor and the condenser fan combined together. It looks like here we could probably tell we got black, red, and blue. So if we can isolate those right at the contactor, we can see which one's got some uh, resistance to ground and isolate that particular thing. I am hoping that maybe it's the condenser fan uh, because the wine compressor is already unhooked. So let's go up there and see if we can find that out for certain. Okay, so when we go chassis ground to the bottom of the contactor for the one that's actually disconnected, I have no resistance to the compressors. But when we go to the other compressor, that one that's actually hooked up, that one I have 3,000 ohms to ground, which 4,000 there and 2,800 there. We can unhook the compressor, hopefully the compressor works. Let's see if we can figure out which one. Well, they, they really didn't make it simple, did they? They did not label the contact or the compressor versus the condenser fan. So, and they're both the same gauge wire, so it's gonna be kind of difficult to know which one's which. So let's go ahead and isolate them all. And let's uh, find out which one actually shows resistance to ground. And then we'll go from there. That's 17 there. Nothing on that one, so that one's okay. Well, let's put that back up underneath there and we'll leave that other one unhooked. We'll just isolate it that way, I guess. Check in resistance between the terminals here. Got 320 on one. And 140 something on the other and we've got these three terminals here unhooked from it these here have nothing to ground of course i didn't check between them guess we can check between them see what they are between them, which got paralleled with the condenser motor three 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 so they're all pretty much equal that's a good sign Okay, right here is that one, power on. Yeah, this thing's quite the treat. Okay, we got a condenser fan over there running. One of the contactors kicked in. That one obviously must be, because that's the one that's running the condenser fan, and the other one obviously can't. So they're screwed. That's terrific. It'd be great to know what's wrong with that other compressor. Did they lose a compressor? Did they lose a condenser fan? Maybe they just unhooked the condenser fan. I don't know. So now we gotta go back through and re-diagnose the whole thing. All right, spoke with the lady again. Got better clarification. Holy mackerel. So, Friday they had noises. Saturday, someone came out from Columbus and they said the contactor's bad and the compressor's bad. Well, I'm wondering if they didn't get their twiddle D's backwards and unhook the wrong one. So what I'm thinking about doing here is kill the power. We're gonna take the compressor over here, move it over to here, because we know that this contactor works. Um, and then, actually, you know what? Honestly, this contactor here actually pulled in. So I think they unhooked the wrong one. I don't, that's what I'm thinking. So at this point, we're running 74 and 78 inside. Let's uh, 
go ahead and kill power to it and see what happens and after we rehook it so that is the northern hvac which there's only one on it which is confusing why you put northern on it because there's only one how would it be the northern depending theoretically right now we're facing the south okay power's dead we're going to leave that compressor completely unhooked i am probably going to put a wire tie around those so they all stay together i think i'm just going to hook up the, the high voltage on the other side yeah i'm just going to hook them up call it a day i don't know why they didn't just unhook the load side instead of unhooking the power side so that's what's kind of funny you called them out here on a saturday they left it off and you tell me it's noisy but you don't tell me that it's noisy before someone else looked at it that is so misleading let's go ahead and just turn this thing on and see what happens worst it can do is trip breaker let's see if we get a to da moment not yet Ooh. Ooh, yeah, she was she was doing some funky monkey stuff. Um, that contactor was possibly having an issue. Um, it was it was rapid cycling that turd, which makes me think he may actually have issues with something besides just the contactor. Four ohms go over to the other one. Four ohms and go to this one between that one. And it's right at four ohms. That compressor I think is fine. We have just the condenser fans running right now. So we've got that isolated. Condenser uh, is the only thing hooked up on both of them. So let's go back down there and turn this back on. See if by chance that contactor still throttle, you know, chatters like it was doing. There we go. Okay, there went one contactor. All right, both condenser fans are running, or at least it looks like the other one is. I don't think it's pulling from it, which makes me wonder why can't that compressor run if the resistance is okay. Let's check it to ground. Power's dead. We already did this earlier, but let's go ahead and do it again. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these Compressor terminals over to this other contactor. Maybe it's just the contactor's junk. The compressors are in parallel with each other, so it don't really matter. As far as I can tell, it don't matter which one's running. Um, I am going to speculate that they're both the same tonnage. So we still have the number two, the true number two contactor uh, compressor unhooked. We just moved it over to here. Both contactors, I mean, if it works, I will switch the contactor so that first stage is always the one that kind of goes first. I'm assuming that's how it works. I didn't read through the whole book. I'm not one for reading bunches if I don't need to. I have a hard time remembering all of it anyway. Let's see what happens. Okay, I don't know where the battery went dead at, but let's go over here and see if that compressor's running. I'm gonna say I haven't, that the compressor's probably not running. I want to get in there. I'm not real thrilled about getting in 480 like that, especially when they're barely reached the contactor, but we're only pulling five amps between all, all the condenser fan motors. That sounds more like it. 407C unit compressors, full load amps, 10 for two of them. I think it, yeah, it pulled in. You can see that yeah, we're pulling 39 amps. That's a problem. Compressor's stuck. So yeah, that compressor's stuck and the other one's shorted the ground. Super. Maybe, yeah, it has to be. There should be no resistance to ground. So yeah, well, there you go. That's what's wrong with the one. The one compressor's not shorted, it's just stuck. Now you could reverse the rotation. I would have figured they would have tried that already. Um, it's a scroll compressor, so I mean, obviously, you can only do it for a short duration. I hate to hook those up and let them short, to, you know, short just to find out for certain. Yep, it's blown. It's screwed. Um, yeah. 
Well, if one's stuck, the other one's uh, probably shorted. That might be what uh, took out the other one. Who knows? I'm not, I don't like when someone else has been fiddle farting with stuff and you don't know if they got things back to normal and a lot of double work, lots of double work. Not sure why they wouldn't have called the other guy back out. Why didn't they have the guy turn it on when he left? Obviously, um, he felt as though it wasn't, uh, should have ran. I, I don't think it's just a shorter wire to ground. I go ahead and unhook that other compressor. And uh, that way they can at least run the fans. And so if they need heat, which I doubt they will, they can have that. They can have some air movement. I don't know why that contactor was doing what it was doing. That just kind of, maybe it had something to do with the high amperage. Maybe it was bogging it down, voltage drop causing the transformer. But I didn't hear all of them kicking in and kicking out. All right, so we got the ladder out. I want to make darn sure before I condemn this that it's actually bad. So we got two compressors here. How do we find out which one's which? This one's hot. That's probably the one that had 39 amps when it's only supposed to run, I think, 10 or 10 amps total between the two of them. This one's cold. So we're going to pop that thing and measure resistance. We'll isolate the wires, make sure it's not shorted to one of those wires. You know, as it comes down and through, you can see it kind of like goes across there. When in doubt, burn, bend it out. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Oh yeah, those are kind of burned off there. That ain't good. Not a lot of room here to show you much. It's kind of a shady operation here. That wire came off. It pretty much burned off. Literally can't get your hands into anything. It's crazy. I think the other guy can change this thing. Have it. Have fun. I think I got it, yeah. All of them are off. And that ain't good looking. Let's see if we can get the, resist the resistance check here. We got anything at all. This thing is 100% verified as shot. Yep, 800 and some odd ohms there. 600 there. She's done. Yep, she done. Well guys, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, if the other company's already uh, getting the compressors, let them do it. Uh, they've got uh, two now they need to change. And uh, I think it's kind of interesting. Did the other one just all of a sudden go out or was it, um, bad when he was here who knows maybe it just took a crap right afterwards who knows but uh moral of the story don't give up don't get too into uh don't worry about it. if you've never seen it before it's the first one i ever worked on but it's got a compressor it's got a contactor it's got evaporators and condenser motors it's the same crap just uh in a different application so if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like it don't give it a thumbs up give it a big thumbs up don't just give it a thumbs up give it a big thumbs up consider subscribing blah 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 Blah, 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 blah. And until next time, blah, 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 blah.